hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome my love if you're a new subscriber what's happening it's your girl natasha bazaar and if you're here for the vibes you're at the right place so before we go anyway before we go anyway please like comment share and subscribe support your girl guys we need to get this channel up and running to reach a broader audience anywho let's get right into what this video is about so as you saw from the title yes 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 per anywho i've got a big secret to share with you guys i mean some of some of you already know some of you don't know but your girl is um your girl is um it's a protective hand period so last year, before we closed schools, I think it was around December, November, -ish, end of November, the school had some student representatives elections, right? So what it means is that each faculty from the Faculty of Medicine, Law, Engineering, and the other faculties, right, they have to vote for their own three representatives. Like the whole faculty has to vote for three people to represent their interests. And the ambassadors of different countries have come through and they need like engineering students. Those three will go and represent those students. So fortunately enough, I was voted for to be the faculty of law representative. And so it's me and these three other guys per. So, so from all of the faculty representatives selected, I think we're about 30 also so those 30 people including me we had to vote for our own executive consisting of four members that's the chairman the vice chairman and the two secretary generals and i was fortunate enough to be voted for to be the secretary general per and i'm the only hand mind you in that four executive member so yes your goal this year like i said we're all about being focused chasing our grades getting the bag and the likes because you gotta do both you understand so since we're voted for the students, um, so the students are the only ones that are quite familiar with us since we're on the ground together. The school administration does not necessarily know us. So that's what this video is about. Right. So we're now being formally inducted, like formally being appointed and recognized by the university. So the university was gracious enough to in, to accommodate us to go to this resort. Um, I th think it's called Zipad, um, whereby we're going to go for some team building skills where we're going to be taught like how to work together how to cooperate how to like manage tasks together because since we all come from different faculties we then have to work together and make sure that the needs of each and every student from our faculties are addressed and they're heard of since we are like the first point of hierarchy when it comes to the students representation right so if anything happens in our faculties and we're not aware of that means we're not doing our duties so I think that's what we're going to be taught about. So I don't necessarily know how this place looks like. Well, we're accommodated at the school's um, hostel facilities. So currently I'm in Swinton, yeah, one of the hostels. And yeah, it's been my previous hostel since I think when I was in part one. And I tried to cheat on it last semester, but I feel like for me, this semester, I would really love NC because I haven't experienced that side. So I'm going to give you guys a room tour as I unpack some of my things because I think I overpacked. Guys, comment down below. Are you also an overpacker? Like, even if it's a two-day trip, I'll always carry a big bag because I don't want to be somewhere which oh, I could have taken that short. You understand? So we're going to be wearing a lot of form of, so I heard. And yeah, we're all about vibes. So... There's a little girl out there who's watching my channel and she looks up to me. All I can say is that chase after your dreams. It's not too late to do anything. Don't let people discourage you. If there's something that you put your mind to and you want to work for it, do it. Even if it's you're the only hard there or the only girl there, like keep pushing because you don't know why the Lord is putting that idea into your head. So don't ever let fear or discouragement like take you away from pursuing something that you love because personally i faced a lot of trials and tribulations in actually pursuing this political career because it's low-key politics some say it's not that deep but it is that deep um so that's why these days i try my best to like you know not do anything that will jeopardize my position because i understand how much power people put in me and how much they're looking up to me so i have to live up to that you understand so yes, please like this video already. If you haven't liked this video, so...